Hi, my name is Shanda Lear. That's what they called me. The whole cast of Hell's a Poppin' when I was born. Could have been worse. Could have been Gonda. But they called me Shanda. Shanda Lear. And it seems like all of my life I've been out there wanting to let my light shine. Whether it was singing or helping moms with breastfeeding or making an electric boat that everybody loves, the Lear boat, or comforting someone who's in pain or praying for the world. That's what I've been doing. And there's a saying in the Bible that says, don't put your light under a bushel, let it Put it up on high so everyone can can see it. So in the past couple of days I've been praying about the world and and uh, just wondering how can I let my shine my light shine better. And so it came to me to maybe tell the wonderful stories that have happened to me as a result of prayer in the hopes that they would inspire other people to reach out in prayer for solutions. My family has always done that and felt that the infinite divine loving source that some call God, some call divine love, some call the infinite consciousness, some call Allah, that infinite source answers sometimes in unexpected ways. Sometimes it gives us what we need and not what we want. And so I just wanted to share, first thing that came to mind was a, a story of years ago. Um, I have three children. And when my son was five, I was preparing for the birthday party for Vanessa, my daughter, whose birthday comes in September. And Valente was seeing me prepare the, the, the birthday cake and the invitations and the decorations for the house. And he was nagging me all the time, Mommy, Mommy, I want to have my birthday now too, please. I know it's in November, I don't care. I won't ask you for a birthday party in November. Just please, please, can I have my birthday now? Well, of course it was ridiculous. <laughs> and I did everything I could think of. I reasoned with him, but it was on me all the time. Please, mommy, I've got to have my birthday party. So finally, in desperation, it was night time, you know, it's time to go to bed. It was dark. I sat him on his bed and I said, look, we're going to pray about this because I don't know what else to do. And five minutes, five minutes of silence and we're going to pray. So I sat there and I turned to God and I said, oh, please help me. I don't know what to do with this child. And after a few minutes, I heard a little voice that said, Mom? And I said, yeah. And he said, what does it sound like when God speaks to you? And I said, well, it sounds like your own voice, but it's comforting. And he said, I think God talked to me. I said, really? What did he say? And he said, he said, I'll make the time go faster till your birthday. And that was it. What an incredible thing he heard. The whole problem just vanished 
and there was peace in the house. And I'll never forget that. And I'll always be grateful. It's just a little thing. It's not a big deal. But it was very cool. So it's things like this that I want to share. Things like this that may seem trivial, but I think they're very important. So, that's it. I'm just letting my light shine.